what's up everybody? Kevin Anson here with thevideocourse.com, helping video professionals like you learn more and earn more. I'm gonna show you guys how to create this lower third here. It's one of my favorites. It's often my go-to that I use in projects when I'm pressed for time. It's super easy to make, it looks clean, and clients love it. Also towards the end of this lesson, I'm gonna show you a little trick that most people don't know about when it comes to using white lower thirds like this one. And if you just wanna download this project file, that link is in the description. All right, let's get started. All right, here we go. I'm gonna move fast, so if you guys miss something, just go ahead and rewind it. I'm gonna hit new comp, hitting this button here. I'm just gonna call this lower third, and then the person's name. And I'm gonna change this to 800 by 160. And the duration 10, that looks good, hit enter. I'm gonna go to view, show grid, and I'm gonna go to view, snap to grid. You'll see why in a second. I'm gonna go to layer, new shape layer. And I'm gonna turn the stroke off, so hit option a couple times until you get this red line. Option, click over here, make sure that you're set to white, hit okay. Hit Q, shortcut key, which is gonna bring up this rectangle tool. And I'm gonna draw a box, see how it's snapping to the grid there. I'm gonna hit Command T. Click here, type in your text. I'm using uh, Proxima Nova as my font. It's one of my favorite fonts, but you guys can use whatever font you want. And I'm gonna make this bold. And I'm gonna scale this up a little bit. It's snapping to the grid. Hit Command D to duplicate this layer. Bring it down here, double click on this one, and we're gonna call her the lady in charge. I'm gonna drag this over just a bit, and I'm gonna make this one a light font, just to kind of give it a nice design style. And I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. It should snap to this. There we go. All right, we're gonna animate Susan in. So hit the home key, hit P, position. I'm gonna hit shift page down three times. It's gonna bring us over one second. Another keyframe, go back, slide her off the screen. All right, same thing, I'm gonna bring uh, the lady in charge in. Click on it, hit P, keyframe. Shift page down three times, keyframe in. Go back to the first keyframe, slide it off the screen. All right, we're gonna do easy ease, so it's gonna slide in nicely. We're gonna hit function F9. So now when you watch it, it animates in nice and smooth. All right, one other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna animate in this, uh, this white box here. Hit the Y key on your keyboard to move the anchor point over to the middle here. That way when we scale it up, it'll scale from that spot. So keyframe in, shift page down twice. Keyframe, go back. Unconstrained proportions by clicking that box and make this zero. So now you'll see it's gonna animate in. And I wanna move the text over just a little bit so it the text doesn't come in at the same time that thing's animating in. Slide the text over a little bit. Boom, now we have a lower third. You can go with that or you can make it a little fancier by adding some flair to it. I'll show you how to do that really quick. So we're gonna go to layer, new, shape layer, hit G, which is the same thing as the pen tool. Make a point right here, make a point right here, that's gonna make a line. And you wanna make sure that your stroke's turned on, so option click this, there you go. Now, twirl this down here, and you're gonna set a keyframe under path. Shift, page down. I'm gonna do a page down twice. Set a keyframe. Shift, page down again. Set a keyframe. Hit J to go back to the first keyframe. And we're gonna have this animate in from left to right. So click on this again. It's gonna start here. Hit K to go to the next keyframe. It's gonna go to that spot and then the last keyframe is going to animate like this. 
So select all these, function F9. So now we can see what that looks like. Okay, so we have to make a couple adjustments. If you notice how right here there's a little dot, that's because the layer is, that's where it starts out at. So what we want to do is we want to cut this off. So hit option, left bracket. And when it ends, hit option, right bracket. So we want to make sure that that layer is disappearing. So it's not on the screen at all. It only animates in. All right, one other thing I want to do is I want this thing to animate in right about here. And I'm going to bring the position of it down just a notch to right there. So let's see how that looks. Perfect. Actually, I think I want to bring it in just a little bit higher. There we go. All right, so what we can do is actually we can just duplicate that layer if you want to be fast and bring it up here to uh, to give Susan a little flare up there. And I'm going to reverse these keyframes. So go to anim keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. So now it should animate from right to left. And one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this thing down a little bit, which is the fastest way to do it. Put my anchor point right here at the beginning. Go ahead and scale it down. Unconstrained proportions. There you go. Now we have ourselves a lower third. So let's see how that looks over on, on top of our uh, interviewee there. And go ahead and drag this lower third right on top. See how that looks. One quick thing that you could do if you're not happy with how fast it animates in is I would just click on the layer and go to layer, time, time stretch. And if you bring this number down to like, like say 75, that's gonna speed it up. So let's hit okay. Let's see how that looks. One other thing I want to show you guys is sometimes you'll have an interview where the background is a little bit bright and you put white text on top of it and this white text kind of blends into the background. Like this example here, let's say, not that we would put the lower third here, but let's just say you did. See how the letters are blending into the back there? What I usually do is go to effect, perspective, drop shadow. You could choose to leave it like that, but that looks kind of cheesy in my opinion. So what I'll do is ramp up the opacity of this to 75 and just ramp the softness of this to like, I don't know, 250, uh, maybe 280. So you can't even tell now that there's a drop shadow back there, but it definitely separates the text from the background. So you can kind of see the before and after on this. So let's toggle on and off this effect. There's before, there's after. All right, that's it for this lesson. Make sure to give us a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe. Feel free to leave your feedback and questions in the comments below. Head on over to thevideocourse.com for even more free lessons. If you wanna learn how to bring this lower third into one of your projects, check out the link to that project in the description as well. And before you leave, be sure to download a copy of this project file from the lesson. See you next time. We'll <laughs>